Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel Big Data Solution. Today I am discussing on some top most uh, exam question on CCA 175. And this question is comes in the 20, 2020 and all the questions are very latest and uh, the question is exactly same which is coming in this exam in this uh, certification CCA 175 certification. All the questions are exactly same and uh, because the, I, uh, I have given exam so I know uh, the, all the questions are exactly uh, those questions I picked and uh, the pattern and the tips I will show you uh, is exactly same so the, before uh, going to uh, and talking about the questions firstly I will give you some tips before giving the exam you must be your internet speed should be good you have to check through the speed test you can check the, your speed of the internet you can search on google speed test and check out your internet speed so your uh, internet speed should be good otherwise it will be very big problem so try to make it a good speed <coughs> the second thing uh, you need to do practice every one hour for uh, those level of questions every day at least one or two questions you solve it of the particular pattern question i will show you some questions those question pattern you uh, do practice every day at least uh, one within one hour you can two to three so question you this solve so uh, so do practice every day so you will touch and you will uh, your speed will be also good second uh, the very most important uh, point third point practice on a spark cell or pi spark point it means what is the, uh, because they uh, give the questions uh, because uh, like a window uh, on window you have installed virtual uh, box or vmware inside vmware we have installed Hadoop, spark and all that. so if you open the window if you uh, open and uh, vmware and then go to and uh, writing the code over there so it will very uh, a small thing it means uh, it is so very small window so that is very hectic for writing the code and view uh, seeing all the things very small window so that is a big problem so uh, try to do practice on the uh, command prompt it means uh, a spark cell prompt or python prompt with the help of PySpark go and write the code over there so try to make practice over there and uh, when you solve the problem because there are total nine questions are there and you have to attempt all the questions because if you not solve all nine questions then definitely you can get fail so try to do practice every nine questions and I'll show you the, all the questions, how their question pattern and how the question exactly same comes in the exam. And the uh, fourth point, practice reading all type of formats. It means when you write the code, like uh, reading the, uh, practice reading all type of format and writing data in all type of format. What are the meaning? It means uh, in this first part, you have to read JSON file, you have to read text file, you should read uh, CC file, you should read um, XML file, but XML is not a uh, constant exam, but parquet file format, abro file format. You have to do uh, all type of formats data, you have to f uh, read um, through a spark, through the data frame. So, uh, so you need to do practice all type of reading t reading things. And writing also, all type of format you should write, write in this uh, text file format, uh, write to, uh, write to uh, abro, csv, uh, uh, json file format. So all type of format you should write, do practice for those. And uh, there are very uh, some tricky questions they ask. Like uh, yeah, also in the further uh, slides, those questions. The next point is practice reading from high table. Yeah, there are some two questions comes. Uh, yeah, two questions comes, which are uh, you have to read data from Hive and write data in other Hive table. With uh, with uh, they give some database. And inside the database there is a one table so uh, and they don't create database so you have to uh, through the spark SQL you can easily create database and also you can write the data so uh, do practice of reading the data from high and writing the data in high so these questions also you have to solve and uh, uh, last point is for ex uh, clear the exam you need to solve seven question out of nine but you should try to solve all nine out of nine out of nine your target should be nine out of nine because there are some questions uh, they as per they are uh, if you not uh, understand the proper and you're writing you dump the data incorrectly so that can be uh, goes wrong so try to solve all nine questions 
so guys i think uh, you guys are getting uh, if any uh, things uh, in suggestions please uh, give me in comment okay the next point is the questions Question is problem one. This is the uh, the problem one. In the problem one, you can see a read custom read customer data from given input format and uh, given input SD file path. Yeah, they give some file path. It means uh, on SDFS like user problem one customer such will give the uh, file path. And they ask the question: Write a program for state-wise customer account. It means you have to fetch the data and you know, store the data frame, and through the data frame you have to write a query, um, and th that query should give result like a, um, a state-wise count. Those guys which is similar kind, of, uh, similar uh, stay in similar state, so that count should be give. Like here you can say, oh, the wrong. Like as you can see here, like a Maharashtra five, as to uh, five guys are there. Like here, uh, Rajasthan four guys are there. So such way, the state wise all the counts. Okay, so such are questions. The first question uh, it comes in uh, when I was giving the exam. So these questions comes. A state wise you have to customer count. So the, uh, and after that uh, calculate the count, then. Uh, then uh, write the data in uh, then uh, then uh, write the data in pocket file format with snappy compression so these questions comes in the exam it means uh, reading the data from the data file format and the one thing also uh, when you reading the data they don't give headers like you call an employee one employee, um, employee id employee name city they uh, give here uh, as in, in instruction inside the instruction they give uh, the, all the schema names of the files schema name of the file like uh, a schema name of the file like employee id is there inside the file employee name is there they give such a city state so they give the information uh, of and type also they give uh, that is a string type it is, uh, it is also a string type they give that data type also which information they give but uh, in the file i observed that in the file they don't give header you uh, when you read the csv file that time it give underscore c0 underscore c1 underscore c3 if you uh, read the csv file and without header then give underscore c1 underscore c2 c3 that is a column name you have to through alias you have to make it all the columns names and then i uh, have to solve the problem so uh, otherwise there are another approach in scala uh, normally through the uh, through the case class you can easily uh, while loading time you can make the schema so you have to uh, solve the problem through um, such way also so make it uh, do practice uh, like such as questions there is one file like a customer file is there and inside the file uh, they know any on data is there only schema uh, the column name is not there so when you read the data from data frame it give underscore c1 to c2 underscore c3 such way it gives so you have to uh, but in instruction they give employee id employee name city state with data types so you, you can get it yeah that column uh, those columns are these types and these are column names after that what your uh, instruction is giving write the program for state wise count customer count you have to calculate that dump the data in text file format uh, with uh, gg compression so such way to ask the questions now the problem two you can see here uh, reading the data from customer and uh, here you can see data is in text form file, file format in instruction they give the uh, basic information give the data which is stored in the file 
that file uh, that file is in uh, is a text file format and the data is in tab delimiter there is space uh, and uh, the schema holding like id is there name is there string state is there zip is there age is there so the information is there so when you read the data then uh, you have to uh, with the help of like uh, in option you have to give info schema true so data type also comes while reading the data from this part so <coughs> you have to uh, do practice of these type of questions and the next instruction is write the program to fetch only whose city is new york it is those uh, customers who belongs to new york city those uh, person uh, those uh, customer data you have to fetch and after that after the writing while the writing the data and uh, there is a fourth instruction output should place in the user solution to customer this is a path where to type the data and uh, And then uh, output should be uh, output should place in this location with the text file format with the zip compression format and uh, the first name first letter and last name combined make alias for me. yeah this is, uh, this is also one uh, instruction that was there first name Raj last name Kumar alias first name R is there and last name Kumar there is one other column first column second column third column in third column the first name, uh, first name column, first letter, and last name is appending. So through the substring, you can get it with the substring column name zero comma one. If you give them, to give the first letter, and uh, outside you give concrete and comma last name. You can give the, you get the combined. So you have to do practice such a questions. <coughs> Reading data from uh, text file format with the tab delimiter and sometimes give the sometimes give the pipe also sometimes give a tab also so you have to do practice such way and the right data in text file format with gzip compression yeah so this are questions comes in the problem two now i am going to the problem three questions if you see the problem three there are electricity uh, data is there and there are 25 uh, it was the data was 25 million data uh, in the file yeah because nowadays the questions comes and they are giving more data in the file so it take more time uh, to execution so they uh, also check how much uh, they can optimize the code also so uh, try to uh, try to uh, do practice such way <coughs> yeah the data was in uh, data in text file format yeah they are uh, not giving column name in the file that is uh, so you have to make practice such way so when the loading time you can make the schema with the pojo or kiss class you can apply otherwise you have to make alias like uh, underscore 30 as column one column two such way to give yeah the data in text file format uh, tad and uh, the schema name transition id build unit build date connection type so these are the information are there in the file so uh, the program is write a program to fetch only whose build unit is greater than 10 so <coughs> sorry so those data you have to fetch only uh, whose build unit is greater than 10 so fetch the data and write the data in the user solution 3 xd build in avro file format with snappy composition so these type of questions comes Sometimes the electricity bill, sometimes mobile data. Uh, you have to calculate average on those mobile which model is more temperature high. So such a questions comes, and you can see all the three questions. There are some reading the data, writing the data, reading the data, writing the data. But there are some logic over there in file format, and there are some filter apply. So uh, try to do practice uh, these type of questions, and these are questions definitely comes in the exam the latest pattern so try to do practice so you see the first question you can see here the customer data reading and writing uh, in the packet file format with the state wise customer account and you can see the problem too the read the data from customer and uh, write the data in there are some combined it, it means concrete method you have to apply for making the alias and writing gg compression 
and there are some filter customer and security in there. And third problem you can see those data and those video is greater than 10. So use the data from text file format and write the data in the Avro with snappy compression. So these are the questions comes in, in the exam try to practice and I in the next part I'll bring some other another uh, six question that is because total nine questions so this is three question and three question exactly same questions comes so remaining six uh, remaining in the other part I'll bring other six question that is comes in exam which are given the exam so try to do practice and definitely be clear you can see the output samples will be the output will be test ID V unit 11 it means those data which is greater than V unit 10 so those data in output sample they give the output sample yeah that that I will result I want and you have to in the target location you have to write you have to dump the data because slash user slash uh, solution 3 slash uh, billing you have to dump the data over there so uh, try to make practice on the command uh, spark cell uh, prompt or python pystar prompt so to try to do practice over there because you will uh, it will be uh, more helpful over there and uh, try to make while solving the problem give like a data frame name q1 df1 q2 df1 if because so many questions you have to solve nine, all nine questions if it variable should be make a difference like a q1 if it gives the prefix q1 uh, df1 and the second question is solving the problem q1 df uh, uh, q2 df1 so such way you, if you give them you will make the differences in data frame uh, and you, you, you will get it absorbed as well huh, that much questions have solved so make it q1 df1 as a variable name in well, data frame to play okay uh, in the next video i will uh, bring you some other remaining six question then all the nine questions i will uh, uh, show in the video so that is more helpful to clear the exam this is latest pattern all the questions are in the spark okay we'll uh, meet in next video thank you guys